we can speak to us, Flair Jaw. He's the chairman of the European Rohingya Council and joins us from Ankara here in Turkey. Flair Jaw, thank you very much for joining us. What are your concerns for the Rohingya in Rakhine State if the Myanmar military don't stop their operation? Yes, if Myanmar military will not stop the uh, operations against the Rohingya people, which is ethnic cleansing, and also which is the genocide, a textbook example of the genocide, there will be no Rohingya left behind in Arakan unless international community come uh, uh, forward to stop Burma, uh, Myanmar's uh, ethnic cleansing campaign and uh, genocide of the Rohingya people. There will be no Rohingya houses left and there will be no single Rohingya in Arakan because the military is continuously burning. Even today they have burned several houses, several villages, and people are running, people are, uh, people are running to Bangladesh, and also many thousands of people are on their way to Bangladesh to escape um, Burmese brutal operation against the Rohingya people. So our concern is that if international community is not doing anything effective to stop Burmese uh, ethnic cleansing campaign, there will be no single Rohingya in Arakan. Now, there have been uh, strong words from the international community, not least from uh, the Turkish government, and many Nobel Prize winners are trying to get Aung San Suu Kyi to do something. But after decades of persecution for the Rohingya, this began with uh, attacks on Myanmar army checkpoints by a, uh, a group up in Rakhine State. Uh, what's your message to that armed group who has been fighting with the military there? Yes, actually, the, the military has long planned to wipe out all Rohingya people from Arakan. They have been continuously launching this kind of operation since 1987. In 1987, they launched King Dragon Operation. In 1991, also again, in 2012 and 2016. So they have long planned to wipe out the Rohingya, uh, Rohingya people from Arakan. But it, at this point, they took advantage, they took a chance, they took excuse of the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army. Actually, they have long plan to, even though if there is no Rohingya, Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army, they would create another pretext, they would create another circumstances so that they can, they can, uh, uh, they can clean the Arakan of, of Rohingya people. So Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army is an, just an excuse of already uh, uh, already uh, the, uh, the, the plan, what they have, and even the uh, United uh, um, Commander-in-Chief, Secretary uh, General Mi Online, has told recently that they are doing the unfinished job of 2000, uh, unfinished job of Second World War. So they have already planned to wipe out all Rohingya people. Arkan Rohingya Salvation Army is just an excuse for them. Okay, and Hajjo, finally, and briefly, if you can, please, sir. Uh, of course, the Rohingya are stateless. They're not even accepted in, in the Myanmar constitution. Uh, and the Buddhist majority in Myanmar uh, don't seem to want them there. How is this going to be resolved uh, in the coming weeks and months, do you think? Yes, um, it, it can be resolved uh, if international community come with concrete action against the Rohingya, against the Burmese military, because the Burmese military has to change their mind, their manufactured uh, statelessness of the Rohingya people. The statelessness, uh, statelessness of the Rohingya people is manufactured. We have been there for generations. We were officially recognized by post successive government, post-independent, up to 1948. So we were there, we have been there, we will be there. So the, uh, the generals, the army, the military army, military generals has to change their mind that the, we, are, we are stateless. We, this, uh, the policy of uh, uh, persecution must be changed. International community must come forward with concrete action against, okay. the, against uh, military generals. Hello, Joe, uh, from the European Rohingya Council. Thank you very much, and I wish you luck in your work.